Parshas Yisro, Revi. The Aliyah opens up by telling us that the third month after Kal Yisrael left Mitzrayim, they traveled from Rafidim to Midbar Sinai. Now, why does it point out that they traveled from Rafidim? Don't we know that's where they were? So Rashi tells us that, yeah, it's pointing that out to say that the same way that when they came to Midbar Sinai, they were in a state of tshuva, so too when they left Rafidim, they were already in a state of tshuva. And the Pasa goes on to tell us, Vayichan Sham Yisrael Negedahar, that Klal Yisrael camped over there. And the Pasa is written in the singular, Vayichan, and it really should have said, Vayachanu, and they camped over there. And Rashi tells us, why is it written in the singular? To tell us that at that point in time, they were ke'ish echad belev echad. They were like one man with one heart. Klal Yisrael was totally united, as opposed to other times when they were camping, when there was discord that was going Going on, there was fighting going on amongst Kal Yisro. And at this point in time, the, the Psukim tell us that Moshe goes up to HaKadosh Baruch Hu and Hashem calls him from the mountain and he says, listen, this is what you are going to tell Kal Yisro. The Pasuk says, Ko somar leves Yaakov. This is what you're going to tell to the base Yaakov, which is referring to the women. Visage livnei Yisrael. And then you're going to tell to B'nei Yisrael. And Rashi points out that to the women, the Pasuk says, Tomar which is a more gentle lashon, a more gentle way of speaking. And the word vesagate is a more stronger, more harsh lashon because he wanted to tell the women in a more softer tone and the men in a more harsher tone to tell the men exactly what the punishments are going to be. And Hashem goes on to say that this is the speech I want you to give them, that you, Klal Yisrael, with your own eyes, saw what I did to Mitzrayim. I took you out on the wings of eagles and I brought you to me. And Rashi points out that why is the Pasuk telling us, Atem Re'isem, you saw? Because Hashem was telling Moshe, tell them, you literally saw this. This wasn't through some testimony. This wasn't through some verbal account that you overheard what happened. No, no, no. You literally saw what happened, what it is that I did to Mitzrayim. You are the ones who witnessed it. And Hashem says, Moshe, tell them that, listen, if you... Listen to what I say, and you guard the bris that I have with you. Then the Yisem li Segula mikol ha'amim. Then you, Kali Yisrael, are going to be a treasure amongst all the other nations. I'm going to view you as more precious than all the other nations. And the Aliyah ends off by telling us that if you listen, you're going to be a mamlechas kohenim v'goy kadosh.